told him you never know. You never know. Go to the Cape Cod Baseball Summer League. That's a huge, yeah. infamous huge. league. I'm yeah. out there. Elbow. Uh. Pops. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll shorten the story, but, like, I really had a tough journey with my arm coming back. Uh -huh. The whole time, very positive-minded. Yeah. I'm going to come back better, throwing harder. Yeah. You know, because there is an upside to having Tommy John oh, surgery yeah, where, like, sure. some guys come back. Yeah. I mean, Tommy John himself. Right. Played for fucking 30 exactly. years. Exactly. My point to that is... So there's a lot of people like, oh, like every, there's a pretty common thing like, oh, you, you come back from Tommy John, you could be even better. You know, I'll make a side note that I played with about nine or ten guys throughout my time in college and no one came back. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I mean, my totally. point is like you hear about the guys that come back because they're on TV. They right. made it. That's why you know about them. <laughs> yeah. But you don't hear about the guys that fucking <laughs> all fade the, off. All the dudes. That yeah. Did. Yeah. So I had a really, that was my first hardship in life. Yeah. I, I, I went from being like the big man. And I was really like, this yeah. was, I was really revved up. Like my whole life was yeah. arcing to this. Uh -huh. And right before I came to fruition, it got taken away from pretty much like a rug out from under my feet, you yeah. know? Yeah. As you know, in play know sports, like this happens, you know? So yeah. I, um, dude, I thank the fucking Lord. I literally thank whoever, you know, I thank, I'm so thankful that it happened, but I, I would have never, ever thought I would say that then. So you finished at Duke? Yeah, I graduated from Duke. Uh, I went on to Georgetown grad. Really? And I had, I went on to Georgetown grad and had, <laughs> um, uh, you know, I had two years of eligibility. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to get a graduate degree. I'm going to come back. My arm's going to get better. I had this whole mindset. Like, I'm still, I'm going to get more degree and I'm going to go, you know, and that's how Love I was. That. And, and um, dude, right at, towards the end of Duke, I started dabbling with GarageBand, which is a, which is a program that literally comes on your MacBook. Yeah, so I didn't, yeah. I didn't even sought it out. Like, it wasn't like, I'm going to get this program. Uh -huh. Like, it just, like, I got hurt, and I couldn't travel with the team, and I was just bored. Yeah. And I just got drawn to it again, almost like when I was a kid. It's amazing. And, um, dude, one of the, the first thing I ever put out, a song called College Humor, it just kind of went viral. Amazing. And, and, you know, viral in a scheme of, like, you know, this was kind of before the term viral was really a thing. Uh-huh. Like, Twitter was just kind of brand new. This is, you know, this is nine years ago. Yeah. So Instagram wasn't really a thing. Like TikTok, all this shit. YouTubers, like I was I kind of became a YouTuber before YouTubers were a huge thing. And I basically just started, my, my teammates fucked with it. And then we put it online and like people started fucking with it. So I'm putting, I started, I probably put two or three songs out over the span of time, but I'm still completely rehabbing. I'm in school. Uh -huh. I'm like, this isn't my career. Yeah, you're just, I'm just doing, doing it for this fun. thing, and it's cool, right? Yeah. So I go to Georgetown, and I've done it. I probably put about three or four songs out, and we start traveling with the team, and we're going to other schools, and I'd go out on the field for a game Friday night, and there's fans from the school that are fans of my music. So they're like Mike Stone. What? You know what I mean? And then that was one of the first things I was like, oh shit. You know what I mean? I kind of that actualized it for me, where like there was actually, and then. The second, the next weekend, we go to Louisville, University of Louisville, and there's like fucking 30, there's more kids. And then the next weekend, there was, you know, like it started to be a thing. Wild. And um, then I'm, I'm, I'm pitching, and I fucking suck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm a, whore, I'm a shit bum version of myself. You know, like, you know that feeling oh, where you're like, totally, dude. you can't enjoy there, baseball bro. as much when you know you're a watered down version of yourself. It totally did. And I any was sport, hurt. I mean. Any sport. Yeah. Yeah. Really anything. And yeah, anything. I, anything. Yeah. 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 And I, that, I was like learning this all in real time. Like I was just like, oh, this, oh, this isn't fuck, fun to me I'm anymore. I'm not who I am anymore. Yeah. I'm not but, who like, I was. Think of, dude, I, I can't express to you how fast it happened to where uh -huh. I left. I left in the mid season. Uh, I was middle, like I from still. From Georgetown. Had, yeah. Uh -huh. cause I had to go on tour. I started getting hit up by agents. So like, yo, people are asking about uh -huh. you like. Let's start, if you want to do this, like, you have a little flame right here. So I was like, fuck it. So, like, imagine that call to my parents. <laughs> my Georgetown grad. Hey, how are you? <laughs> how you doing out there? I'm like, you know, I'm going to go on tour as a rapper, Mike Stud. <laughs> and, like, yeah, hats off to my parents, what? man. Like, they're so fucking cool. They, they went through the pain with me. Like, they saw my fault, my slow decline of, like, yeah. I got hurt and, like, we really scratched and clawed to get back and I just wasn't the same. Yeah. And like, I was a really like confident pitcher and a very, just, I, I didn't think about what I was doing. I was just good at it. Yeah. And all that went 
Yeah. And um, so my parents were like, I'm sure they were very skeptical to themselves behind closed doors, but they like they got behind it. They're just like, if this is what you want to do, you know, you kind of always seem to figure it out. So just do it and go for it. You ready? 